Hello, George Romanich here. Welcome to Fundamentals of Weather and Climate Playlist. In today's video, we are going to talk about the budget of solar radiation at the Earth's surface and in the atmosphere. This topic is quite often taught together with the budget of terrestrial or infrared radiation. But I decided to split it in two videos because if we combine terrestrial radiation with solar radiation right now and we try to analyze that budget, we get too many numbers, too many processes, and the things can get complicated. So let's address solar budget in today's video, and then we will combine it in the next video with infrared radiation. To analyze budget of short wave or solar radiation, we will consider Earth surface, which is an idealized surface that represents uh, annual global average. And here we have the top of the atmosphere. We know that at the top of the atmosphere, we receive the amount of radiation that is equal to solar constant, which we call S star. And this amount of radiation is equal to 1,367 watts per square meter. Now, because this number is not some nice number, we usually consider this as 100% of radiation that we receive, and then we can say 70%, 30%, 20% is going to different processes, and then you can calculate what is 20% of this number. Some books or people also call this 100 units of radiation, whatever you prefer. At any rate, out of this 100% of radiation, Earth's surface absorbs approximately 51%. And this radiation that reaches Earth's surface and is being absorbed by the Earth's surface comes down through two processes that we discussed in previous videos. One is direct shortwave radiation. That's the radiation that did not uh, interfere with the atmosphere, but rather directly came to the Earth's surface. And the second radiation that reaches Earth's surface is the so-called diffuse radiation. That's the radiation that's scattered once or multiple times in the atmosphere and then reached the Earth's surface. Now, certain amount of radiation, solar radiation, everything in this video is solar radiation, is also being absorbed by the atmosphere, but not that much. Only about 19% is being directly absorbed by the atmosphere. Now, this radiation that reaches the surface doesn't necessarily have to be absorbed by the surface. Part of radiation that reaches the surface can also be, let's on, uh, here, reflected from the surface into the outer space. And this is a small amount of radiation, only approximately 4% is coming down to the surface and then being reflected from the surface does not interact with the atmosphere, but rather goes into the outer space. Now, in the atmosphere, we also have clouds. And clouds can reflect a lot of solar radiation. In principle, clouds reflect approximately 20% of the incoming radiation. So this radiation is reflected from the top of the clouds and then goes back into the outer space. And lastly, we have radiation that is backscattered from the atmosphere. Namely, these molecules and atoms that scatter radiation do not scatter it back towards the, uh, sorry, forward towards the surface, but back into the outer space, and this is approximately 6% of radiation. So if we now carry out summation, we will see here that the sum of radiation that is being reflected back into the outer space is 20 plus 4 plus 6 is 30%. And this is albedo of our planet that we said is 0 0.3. You can see now how albedo is playing a role in the 
budget of solar radiation at our atmosphere. And uh, here we have radiation absorbed by the surface and radiation absorbed by the atmosphere, solar radiation. So if we sum these two, we will get that this is 70% or 70 units. So 70% is absorbed either by the atmosphere or by the surface, mostly by the surface. And now if we sum 70% and 30%, we will get 100%. And that's the energy uh, conservation. Namely, out of 100% of units that we get, this is the budget that is happening in the atmosphere. Quite often, when we want to do budget of solar radiation at the Earth's surface, we call this amount K star. So what is K star? It's annual average flux of solar radiation absorbed by the surface. This over here is called K downward. This is the flux of shortwave radiation that is reaching the surface. Part of it is absorbed, that's K star, but part of it is reflected, and we call that K up. So we can see that in terms of algebra, K star can be represented as K downward minus K upward. So, 51% is equal K downward minus K up, but we know that K up is 4%, which means that downward flux of solar radiation is 55%. 55% reaches the surface, 51% is absorbed, 4% is reflected back into the atmosphere. So this is the budget of solar radiation at the surface. You can construct this equation for clouds or for the atmosphere or forever you like. Now, what is happening with this 51% of radiation that reaches the surface? Some of it warms the atmosphere through convection, some of it, some of it through conduction, some of it is used to evaporate water, and some of it is returned to the atmosphere through long wave or infrared radiation. But that is what we will discuss in the next video. Until then, goodbye.